All right, we're gonna look at how to create a, a test project to test, a well, software. So first I'm gonna create a project and I'm gonna create a Windows form app. So go ahead and create that. And I'm gonna call this one my leap year. So this will be a leap year, a testing app. So I want to create an app where you type in a year and it checks your year to see if that is a valid leap year. So first thing I do is I go ahead and I go to toolbox and I create some things. I want to have a label. So labels are under L, drag label out here, find toolbox and I'm going to get a text box. And um, I also need to have a button that will do my checking. So that'll be under the B's, right up here, a button. And I'll start by labeling everything. So my label, I want it to say year. Year. My text box, I want to know the name. So I'll call this one my TXT year for text year. And then the button, I want to, well, BTN check just check to see if it's the correct year so i'll just say if it's a check all right so now i've got these things in place i'm going to drag the year over here i'm going to drag this text box right up here make it look nice and pretty and then i have a check box well a check button right here and then i'm going to resize this all to make it look a little prettier Still says form one. So I'll go ahead and change that, click on that. And I will change the text from form one to be leap year check, which you can't see, but that's okay. All right, so this is now created. Next, I want to create a new class. So do control shift A, and this is going to be my math class. So I'll call it my math my math I'm add that the my math class is going to be a, a static class so it'll be a public static class and inside of it i'm going to have a leap year testing method so it's to be a public static bool is leap year so I want to take in an integer year and I'm going to return a value either true if it's a leap year or false if it's not. So the rules for a leap year are basically that if it is a uh, multiple of 400, it's a leap year. If it's not that, then if it's a multiple of 100, it's a leap year. And if it's not that, then if it's a multiple of four, it's a leap year. Anything else is not a leap year. But then it's, there's something about it numbers after 1700 something but we'll just keep it a little simpler so if year uh, mod 400 equals zero then we're going to return true so that's a leap year if maybe do an else if else if year mod 100 equals zero well, that would not be a leap year. Return false. Else if year mod four, then return true. Otherwise, we just want to return false. So this will return our status error. And we want to leave a comment here so that we know what it is. So we'll actually do some documentation. So I'll use three slashes, one, two, three, and suddenly it pops up this nice little thing that tells me information about this method. So this method tests an integer year to see if it is a leap year. The parameter being passed over is an integer. So the year being tested. And 
then the return value. Um, is true if the year is a leap year and false if not. All right, so this, once I save that, it's suddenly in place and whenever I use the intelligent IntelliSense, it will do stuff. So I'm, back, I'm gonna go back over here to my design and I want to have a button here that does something. So what I do is pull in that text value. So I've got a, well, I need an int year. I'll leave that blank for now. And then I'm going to have a string year string equal to my txt year text. So we will get the value of that. And now I want to convert my text into an integer. So int 32, do a try parse. I'm going to rate in the year string. And I'm going to send it out as the year. There we go. And assuming that all works correctly, we're not going to do any more checking right now. I want to figure out, is the value going to be, well, is it a leap year? So do my math, and I have this is leap year. And you can see the method test and integer to see if it's a leap year. You can see the text that I put in there is now there. And I'm going to pass in my year. And you can see, um, if I highlight over it, it even has the return value information displayed so I can see what gets returned. All right. And then maybe I'll create another bool for bool for the out or maybe status or result result. There we go. So my result result equals this right here. And then I'm going to do a message box show result or maybe to string. All right. So that is nice and good and it should probably work. But what we really want to do is do unit testing. So I will test this first to see if it actually runs. So if I type in the year 2000, it should return true. And if I do 2001, it should be false. And if I do 1900, it should return false. And 2004, it should return true. So it is working correctly. So I know a few years. Now I want to add something to my product. So I'm going to go to file and I'm going to add new project. And this one I'm going to add an MS test test project. So go to next. And I'm going to call this my leap test. Leap test. It'll then create a project inside of this solution. So I've got these two different things. Uh, I've got my leap year project and I have my leap test up here. I'm going to rename this thing because I don't like the name. I'm going to rename and I'll call this one uh, my math test. So it's going to be test for my math. And I go ahead and click yes. Renames it. And then I've got a couple of methods here. Um, these are both test methods, and so I'll just call this first method. I'll call it um, valid leap year. Valid leap year of oh, val valid. There we go. Valid leap year, and then I'm going to create another test below it, um, which is going to be a test method, and I'm going to call this public void 
invalid leap year. I guess it can't really be a leap year if it's invalid, but that's okay. All right, so inside of these, I have to do three things. I do an arrange, act, and assert. So first, I'm going to do the arrange. So I'm going to do my int year equals 2000. Then I'm going to do my act. So I'll do a, let's do a var, a bool, I'm a bool result equals and then i'm going to, have to use the my math the problem is i don't have the project connect yet so i go up to project and i add a project reference click the leap year click ok and then it still won't get it because i need to add my leap year leap year leap year into it so now I'm going to go down here and I can do my math. My math is leap year and I'm going to send it the year, year. And then I want to do an assert. So I will do uh, assert is true. And I'm going to pass the result. So this is my assert. Oops. This is my act. And this is my arrange. All right. And so we'll check to see if that year is true. So I can do multiple ones. I can have, you know, test one. And then I can copy this code right here. And then check another year to make sure it's valid as well. So let's do a test two. And this one right here, instead of doing 2000, we'll do 2004. So they should be both valid leap years. Now I want to check for one that's invalid. So I'll copy that stuff right here. And I will change it to um, 2001, which we know is invalid. So the test right here, the assert statement, is going to be is false. And I can even have a second one right here. So make this one and the second one be two. And two. And let's do 1900 because that one is an invalid one. So now I have a couple of tests. I can save that. I can go up to test, test explorer. And you should see it kind of expand out to four different tests it's doing. The two invalids and the two valids. And then I click this button for run all tests. And it should check all of them to see if all of them are testing correctly and coming out good. And we can see they're all testing correctly. So this is how you do unit testing. If I were to do something that was invalid, so say 2000 or 1904, it still thinks it's supposed to return false. So if I go up to my test, test explorer, and I run all these tests again, you will see that one of the tests will come in invalid. It says the assert is false, failed. And you say, oh no, what happened? And you can see, okay, it's this one right here. And you can figure out what's wrong. And that means you either need to go and modify your my math code, your leap year test, or you need to modify your test to make sure that things are the way they are supposed to be. So there you go. This is how you do your basic testing using the Microsoft test suite there.